Hi everybody, I'm Jen from Pixelscapes.com. Tonight's monster is actually an NPC. It's a berserker. Um, I guess he's blue because he's been dipped in woad. Pictish, maybe. So, first things first, I have my sketch video for you. Here we go. So, I use this 3D rendering program just to help me with proportion. Not that there's anything proportional about these muscles, but just to get me into the neighborhood of what I want. And then I beefed up the shoulders and neck even more. Gotta have those armpit tufts and the chest rug. Absolutely. There we go. Big old belt. Flowing loincloth, of course. This is me. Bear claws or something on an armband. Maybe some bracelets to go with it. There we go. All right. And here is the sped up painting video for you. This is about five minutes. So I need to render a metal texture for all these metal parts. That is what I just did. Um, it took a lot longer than that, but I cut the video to spare you the uh takes a while to do 3d rendering so and then selecting all the skin so i can make him blue whoops missed his abs there we go and then putting in the lighter blue to make his muscles pop all right abs lats all the muscles in his face, ear, nose. There we go. All right. Fussing about his ears. More fussing. So much fussing. But you know me. How about a beautiful, rich indigo pinky? purple magenta ridiculousness that would be good yeah <laughs> it's funny how that selection looks in the sped up video like it's flowing and then his belt i've got the bracelets as green but i don't keep them that way can't remember what color they actually end up. Blue, maybe? His hair, of course, is going to be vibrantly reddish, orange, blondish. I blame the Celts. Famous barbarians. Go. Yep. All right. And then eye and teeth color. Red. Red for rage! <sighs> okay. And then my token background colors. And I don't want his arm to blend into that green, so I did add some darker blue there. And now I'm just adjusting colors to make sure they don't totally blend into the background. Make that axe a little more intense. And the lines. I want the buckle to be a little different color. Yeah, punched. I punched up the intensity there. I like it that it kind of looks like it's uh, reflecting the green from the edge. Uh, and then I have these radial wavy lines just to show the sheer rage emanating from this barbarian. <laughs> it also helps me avoid having it look too much like a watermelon. Because now there's a little purple there. So the axe, I'm adjusting axe line colors. The body lines, I mean blue, blue's easy. And that way it doesn't blend in the black of the background. But I don't want to completely blend it into oblivion, so then I, I dial it down. Mm 
And then I fuss over that some more because I'm me. All right, loincloth, lines, his hair, red. And I darken that up a little on the background to make sure it doesn't blend in. And then these bear claws, even though they're on his jewelry, they're still dipped in blood because it's me. It's, it's necessary. It really is. All my line colors. Purple. Purple will work. Fussy. Being fussy. So much fussiness. Okay. I'm cleaning up the parts that overlap with the token. And then the token line colors. And then I ended up uh, dipping just the co top corners of the axe in blood. Or at least some red for contrast. I started with blue. But then I made it red. Because I'm me. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can find more monsters and even more videos through my website, pixelscapes.com. And uh, uh, definitely drop me a line to say hello. I'm on Twitter all the time talking about role-playing games at Pixelscapes. So thank you for watching and see you next time.